Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning that the people of Bani Israel after being forced to make the covenant of obedience under the fear of the Mount Tur falling on them, the moment they were relieved of the fear, they went back on the covenant, they went back on the promise, and turning back from their promises in the covenant with Allah was a manner of the al maktub was the manner of the cursed people. As we can repeat and we can revise that in the initial verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah has mentioned the traits of the disobedience. They do what? يَنْقِزُونَ أَخْضُ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِيسَاكِهِ They break the covenants of Allah after, after making them strong and after strengthening them. So, any person, any family, any society or any state, if they make strong covenants with Allah and they strengthen their promises and covenants with Allah and then they go about breaking them and disobeying them, then they will be labeled as what? They will be labeled as the cursed people and they will be what? They will be the transgressors. And they will be what? They will be the disobedience. But here Allah mentions that Allah was still merciful and kind to them. And they were still forgiven. So means what? That Allah does not punish people for all their wrong, wrongdoings. For all the wrongdoings and all the sins, people are not punished. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and kind. He overlooks and he forgives most of the wrongdoings and most of the sins committed by people. And it is only for a few, only for a few which he punishes. And if Allah, if Allah's mercy and if Allah's kindness does not befall any, then surely the people will be among whom? Among the khasirin. La kuntum min al khasirin. Among the losers. So frequently do we need to ask for the mercy and kindness of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught, taught us a supplication in Quran. Rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khayru rahimin. And it was the manner of the Prophet wasalam, that he used to very, very frequently supplicate for the mercy and for the kindness and for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha asked him, asked him that why did he so frequently ask for the mercy and for the kindness and for the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he replied that Aisha, no one will enter into Jannah until he receives the mercy and the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And she inquired innocently that even you, Prophet wasalam, he answered, yes, Aisha, even I will not enter the Jannah until and unless Allah's mercy befalls upon me and I am blessed with his rahmah. So we need to ask for Allah's mercy very, very frequently. Is a supplication of the Quran. And then Prophet ﷺ used to ask and supplicate for the Rahmah and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Allahumma rahmatika arju, fala takilni ila nafsi min tarfata aynin, wa aslihni shakni kullahu la ilaha illa anta. And then in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the supplication of Hazrat Ayyub alayhi salam when he was sick and when all his body and all the skin, all the skin over his body was covered with pustules, full of pus and leaking and oozing and all by himself with no person, no friend, no family, nobody to look after him, all by himself, being deprived of all the worldly blessings. He said what? He supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, Rabbi anni masani azuru wa anta arhamur rahimeen. Oh Allah, misery and distress, misery and distress has struck me 
and you only at the most merciful. Patience, patience of Hazrat Ayub Islam and tolerance of Hazrat Ayub Islam and then reliance of Hazrat Ayub Islam. What remarkable patience and what what remarkable reliance on Allah. You see, he does not explain his miserable condition. He does not complain. There is no explanation. There is no narration of what he is suffering and what he is going through. Because he, he just briefly says, I am in distress and I am in a miserable state. Because he knows, he knows that Allah is all seeing. He is all hearing. He is all knowing. What remarkable recognition of Allah. What superb what superb reliance on Allah. So this is a Quranic supplication. And this is the dua of a prophet which was heard and granted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel to Hazrat Ayyub salam, and then a fountain just came up. And Hazrat Ayyub salam, was asked to bathe in the water and all the skin ailment was cured. So this is a supplication mentioned in Quran. It is a supplication of Hazrat Ayyub salam, which was heard, which was granted, which was accepted. So in any forms of illness, any state of distress or any miserable condition, we can make this dua. We will get the recitation, reward of the recitation of the Quran we will be rewarded by the by the reward of the following of a prophet or the the sunnah of a prophet and then inshallah inshallah our supplication will be heard it will reach the throne of allah and especially if we make it with full reliance that inna inna rabbi la samiyud dua there is absolutely no doubt that my my rab my sustainer does does listen to my du'as and supplication with full confidence and with full belief and faith that whenever I supplicate you answer you accept and you bless and you grant me with your blessings Rabbana la tuzay qalubana ba'da ishadaytana wa hablana millatun ka rahma inna ka antul wahab سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين سمامين